honored to be here today to celebrate the birthday of Tom Patterson, the founder of our festival theater here in Stratford, Ontario. Of course, Tom is now widely known across Canada and indeed the world. Richard Manette described Tom as an extraordinary vision at an extraordinary time. Anthony Cimolino has said that for decades, Tom's vision has inspired countless others. But Tom's portrait would not be complete without the voice of 575 grade two and three students from Hamlet Public School, whom he touched in deep and unforgettable ways. I've been asked to share some of the amazing experiences that my students and I would never have had without Tom's incredible vision of the Stratford Festival. Tom Patterson, what was it about Tom who made him such a shining light in his 85 years on earth? I'm sure if you asked anyone who knew Tom or knew of Tom, there would be a commonality in the response. His perseverance, his relentless drive, his eternal optimism, and his fierce courage in facing the harshest of critics. My grade two students would agree wholeheartedly, but there would be one more element that came through loud and clear. Tom had a huge and caring heart. It is Tom's heart and tremendous spirit that had such an impact on my own life, as well as on the lives of my students. But let me rewind to a time over 30 years ago when I knew nothing about Tom Patterson. I had moved to Stratford to accept a teaching position and was surprised to find that all the schools were named after Shakespearean characters. I asked the students, why is our school called Hamlet? Who is this Mr. Shakespeare? And what is he to do with Stratford? As with every class, a lively conversation followed, but they also inspired me to help the students develop a sense of pride in their hometown and its connection with the theater. In keeping with the philosophy that we learn by doing, the children became actors and directors in their own little puppet shows and skits and dressed up as characters from Shakespeare's plays. The students were motivated to write to actors and skilled personnel at the festival and the response was overwhelming. Here, Martha Henry enjoys a book the children created about the Stratford Festival. The children began to feel a part of the theater. As I sift through my memory bank, let me fast forward a couple of years. This class took the study a step further and began researching how the theater came to be. And of course, Tom Patterson's dream. The children were amazed at the size of the tent in a field trip to the Festival Theatre, they felt honoured to stand on the famous thrust stage designed by Tanya Mozeyevich. For them, writing took on new meaning. This was six-year-old Melissa's first story she wrote in grade two. Dear Tanya in England, last night, I was so excited about going to the theatre. I did not get a lot of sleep. I was bubbling with excitement and couldn't eat my breakfast. When I walked into our festival, I shivered with delight. Your stage is so beautiful. I tried to say something, but nothing came out. Tanya, you have hands from God. And then the icing on the cake, a surprise visit to the classroom by Tom himself. And what a thrill it was. To a seven-year-old, Tom might look like a bald old man. But for the students, he was greeted more warmly than if he was Santa Claus himself. Tom shared stories now legendary about that Stratford adventure 31 years earlier. How it was a team effort. How Oliver Gaffney and his crew tirelessly carried on with no money. How Skip Manley, Omar the Tent Magician, as my students called him, raised the tent and how Tyrone Guthrie created two magnificent performances. And Tom Patterson, humble, no doubt. Inspiring, absolutely. Genuinely interested in the students, yes, indeed. 
Before Tom left, the students were keen to get his autograph. As each school year passed, our study of Tom's vision, the Stratford Festival, became the highlight of our school year. Let me again fast forward, this time to the class of 1984. That year, A Midsummer Night's Dream was on in Stratford. I began to wonder if the students would enjoy seeing an actual performance at the theater. Tom encouraged me to follow my dreams. When I told the students a simplified story, just a little each day, they were hooked, eager to come back to school the next day to find out what happened next and to role play the new parts. Once again, Tom became an enthusiastic visitor. And then, a huge surprise, an invitation by the festival to present their version on the Stratford Festival stage for the actual professional cast of the play. It was for the students a dream come true. The Stratford Festival had become their festival. Ryan on the right now is the head stage carpenter in the scenic shop at the theater. In January of that year, The Winter's Tale was announced for the new season, with Colm Fior playing Leontes and Goldie Semple playing Hermione. Two boys in the class decided to rewrite the play in rhyming couplets, and each class member received a copy. This one has been treasured, for it was signed by both Tom Patterson and Tanya Mozaevich. My class loved the long narrative poem and were determined to memorize it all and share it as a choral speaking presentation. Then came Tom's phone call. He told me the class was invited to the sesquicentennial celebrations in San Marcos, Texas, taking place in one month. Tom, I replied, that's not the usual permission sheet I send home to parents. He replied, I think you should go and don't worry about the flight costs. I'll get that covered. Indeed, there was a flurry of activity. At four the next morning, we were off and met Tom at the airport in Toronto. Tom came on that trip and delighted in every moment with the class. Each year, of course, brings a new group of students. It's always difficult at the end of the year. The students have come so far and suddenly it's back to square one and they have no idea who Shakespeare is. But every year, each class shared their strengths in different ways. Indeed, it became a given that we would be studying a Shakespearean play, one that was, of course, being performed at the Stratford Festival. To this day, I remember all my classes by the play we studied. The As You Like It class, who had the honor to perform for Robin Phillips, the then artistic director. The Midsummer Night's Dream class, who were lucky enough to perform for David William. The Twelfth Night group, who met their actors on stage following the professional performance at the Avon Theatre. And at these performances, Tom Patterson was always our honoured guest. Thanks to Tom and his dream, Shakespeare's plays performed here in Stratford have incredibly enriched all areas of the curriculum. As the students became immersed in the exciting plot lines, they began to believe in themselves as storytellers and their stories became full of emotion and detail. This was Maya's first story in grade two. And here is her story as she describes the storm scene in The Tempest a few months later. The wind howled like it never had before. The sea moaned and groaned, churning the waves into great sea dragons. It was like a roller coaster. Sounds of terrified people echoed to the flaming deck, rising and falling with mournful cries. Then, suddenly, the ship cracked into. Thank you, Tom, for providing me with a moment that will always remain one of the highlights of my teaching career. But let me again fast forward to the class of 1994 with another of my former students, Annika Johnson. Her class, too, learned how hard Tom had worked to make Stratford a better place to live. 
they were given the challenge as to how they could improve their town. They chose to paint 60 portraits of Shakespeare and with the support of the Stratford Art Gallery, presented these on Ontario Street, where the old Crayler factory had been pulled down. The Bruce Hotel stands there today. Annika's class then went on to perform the life of Shakespeare, inviting the actors from the theater to attend. To transport the actors to the school, Annika's class organized a Hamlet Gala Express. Tom Patterson, as always, made the extra effort to come from Toronto and was on board. Stephen Wimet was one of the first off. Tom was obviously enjoying himself as they headed into the school to present the play. It was a night that will forever remain etched in my memory. Before I conclude, I'd like to share two final special memories of Tom. The first was instigated by the class of 1993, who became detectives, uncovering clues about the beginnings of the theater back in 1953. After perusing the first festival souvenir book, checking out the pictures, determining who was alive and how they could be notified, each student wrote to one of the people who were part of that incredible team back in 1953. Tom was a huge help and what a response they received. Sir Alec Guinness wrote that Skip Manley taught him how to judge when it would rain by watching how far the ants strolled from their nests. Irene Worth wrote that the screams of victory from the boys playing baseball outside the tent often interfered with their whispers of love inside the tent. That she later visited the students to answer more questions was great fun. Near his 80th birthday, Tom was in town. We got together and I shared the precious letters with him. I will never forget the tears rolling down his cheeks as we enjoyed one letter after another. My final special memory of Tom was when we went to dinner at the Down the Street Cafe. I asked him how he was feeling and he motioned for me to pass him a piece of paper. And this is what he wrote. I kind of like life and I'm looking forward to death because I think it will be great fun and a new experience. I think Tom's words demonstrate the optimistic way he looked at life and I will treasure that meeting always. Each time I go to the theater, I always stop for a moment at this bust of Tom, and I am overwhelmed by an incredible rush of emotions and amazement at what his dream has become. On a special fall day last October, I was once again reminded of Tom's vision as I stood admiring the construction of this magnificent theater. Somehow, those steel girders able to withstand the harshest of our Canadian winters seem to symbolize Tom's heart, strong and durable. And the elegant windows reflecting the early morning light were like the inspiration he so often provided to myself and to my students. Without Tom, our treasured theatre would not exist and the children would have had none of these incredible experiences to perform and to grow in so many ways. Tom, who had provided so much inspiration and who never let us down, driving distances to see the children perform and popping into the school to enjoy their antics. So on behalf of my 575 students from Hamlet Public School, this one's for you, Tom. Oh, my heart is true as steel and infinite as the sea. My heart is true as steel, ever soaring with me. 
The first time I met Tom Patterson, I was in Lois Burdett's grade two class and I was seven years old. We were rehearsing our version of Twelfth Nights and I was playing viola when Mrs. Burdett called us over to the carpet and sat us down and said, today we're going to have a very special visitor. And someone said, is it William Shakespeare? And she laughed and said, no, it's not William Shakespeare. His name is Tom Patterson and he's the founder of the theater in our town, Stratford. And we were all very nervous and excited to perform for this man. And uh, so we started rehearsing again and a few minutes later, a man came into the room and sat down and started watching our performance and laughed at all the appropriate moments and gave us some notes afterwards. And this man was Tom Patterson. And I just remember him being so kind and generous and thoughtful and just treated us like professional actors, which meant so much to all of us. As Lois has been sharing our experiences with Tom, what she has humbly downplayed is what an incredible educator she is. She taught seven-year-olds Shakespeare. Tom was undoubtedly impressed by her enthusiasm, which led to their collaboration that opened up Shakespeare and the Stratford Festival to our grade 2-3 reality. While Lois had already taken the plays off of the page, with Tom's support, they immersed our grade 2-3 class in the magical fairy tale world of A Midsummer Night's Dream. I think uh, being in Mrs. Burdett's class and meeting Tom Patterson is one of the single most important factors in who I am today, both as a person and as an artist. Um, they both have this spirit of, uh, if you don't see it happening already, uh, make it for yourself. And learning that at an early age and seeing it in action, how it makes the impossible become possible, I think that's, that's why I'm a writer now. That's why I'm a, a creator and that's why I'm still in theater. I remember Tom as a dreamer. He had big dreams and he encouraged all of us to chase our dreams and with hard work and determination, we could make them happen. He was an inspiration to all of us and I will forever be grateful and thankful to him for my career in the theater. Well, we may have moved away from Stratford when I was only eight. The impact that Tom and the festival had is undeniable. And my story is just one of thousands, I'm sure. I have no doubt uh, that as the world transforms, theater will transform with it and be more important than ever in the years to come. And I'm just so, so grateful to Tom and I'm so grateful to Mrs. Burdett uh, for everything that they gave me and, and the rest of us in Stratford. Thank you. inside of me and you. Oh, my heart is true as steel. Just as the great bard said, my dreams are all beginning, and the joys of life lie ahead.